Hello my friends, Gabriel here, back with another video and today we're going to talk about the performance for uh, the Sony Xperia Z Ultra running on KitKat 4.4.4 build 108 which is the latest one available for my device and I'm going to show you how it behaves in uh, benchmarks, in uh, gaming and uh, also talk about the battery life and uh, let's not waste time and go ahead I've done already some benchmarks uh, prior to this video, so we won't uh, lose too, my, uh, too much time. Let's go ahead and uh, let me show you some uh, screenshots. Let's start with Antutu. In Antutu, the Sony Xperia Z Ultra scores about uh, 37,244 points, which is a good result, if you ask me. It's not the best, but uh, still it's uh, good enough. Also, in a Quadrant, the Z Ultra gets uh, 17,500 points. Again, a good result, not bad, but uh, not the best either. And in a Geekbench, in single core, it uh, scores 911 points, and in a multi core, uh, 2591. Again, good results. In terms of uh, battery life, uh, the Sony Xperia Z Ultra it's offering me so far uh, great results. I was um, I wasn't expecting this to be honest due to the sheer size of this, uh, this uh, device, especially this display. But uh, I can honestly tell you that uh, I get around six hours of screen on time. Uh, considering my usage, which is uh, moderate to heavy, sometimes uh, very intensive usage, doing a lot of stuff, a lot of things on my device. Uh, practically, I'm uh, all day long with the device in my hand, uh, doing something and uh, so on. So I get uh, six hours, even more sometimes, depending on the usage of uh, screen on time which uh, I personally consider to be a great result considering especially the the size uh, of this screen and the fact that uh, the battery inside it's uh, practically the same uh, capacity as the Sony Xperia Z1 with uh, only a minor difference of uh, 50 million powers and uh, there is no problem uh, the battery charges in about uh, four hours. It's a bit uh, too long for my liking, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, let's proceed with uh, some gaming right now. And we're gonna start with uh, Asphalt 8. And let's see how uh, the Xperia Z Ultra handles gaming. So far, I have no complaints uh, here. It's running excellent, no lag, no uh, drop frames, uh, no stuttering and uh, in my honest opinion this is the ultimate uh, gaming device if uh, we are talking about devices in the mobile world um, if we're talking about smartphones, not gaming consoles but uh, I would honestly choose this uh, every day instead of a Sony PSP for example or a Sony PS Vita if you ask me only for the fact that uh, the screen size is uh, absolutely amazing and uh, the gaming uh, experience overall due to this fact is um, excellent as you can see very beautiful graphics excellent gameplay and so far since I've got this device I haven't noticed any problems in this department uh, with the Sony Xperia Z Ultra
Okay, this was asphalt 8. Let's go ahead and uh, play some FIFA 14 to show you the graphics and uh, everything else. Again, excellent gameplay, good graphics, uh, no lag, no stuttering, no delays. And uh, as I said, the fact that uh, the screen is so big makes the experience overall excellent, especially for those who really love to play games on their mobile devices. As I said, I consider this to be the best gaming experience on a smartphone to date and uh, I only hope that uh, sometimes in the future uh, Sony will release uh, an upgrade okay this uh, pretty much does it for this video I hope you liked it uh, if you did hit the like button also share this video for others to see and uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, future content you can follow me on my official uh, Facebook page and uh, Google Plus and Twitter is the same name as my YouTube channel and as always, thank you for watching this video and I hope to, to hear from you in the comment section. I'll post a link in uh, the description of this video to all my videos so you can check uh, those out uh, using that link. Thank you very much. As always, be safe, be good. Your friend Gabriel signing out. Peace.